What's going on YouTube? Brandon here, and this is the final one of my little batch of knife reviews of the knives I picked over the last few years or hadn't reviewed yet. Um, and this is the Benchmade Claymore. Specifically, this is the 9070 BK1. Um, it's an automatic opening knife, which is pretty cool. Like I said in a previous video, I was stuck in uh, commie state for many years, so I didn't have access to these automatic knives. So since I've left in the last uh, couple years, I've gotten several of them. And this is the one that I predominantly um, everyday carry at this point uh, for a couple reasons, which we'll get into. Um, stats on this one, the blade length is 3.6 inches. Um, the blade material is a D2 tool steel. It is hardened to a 60 to 62 Rockwell hardness. Um, it's got a really sweet drop point design, uh, which I like a lot. The overall length is 8.6. I think I mentioned before I'm a sucker for drop points. And the cool thing about this one is it's relatively light uh, for its size. So that's why it makes a pretty good um, everyday carry knife if you're just using it for everyday knife things like cutting boxes and, you know, cleaning your toes and things like that. Um, yeah, so uh, this is made of uh, CPM D2, as I already mentioned. Uh, this particular model is the um, OD Green, I believe it is, or Ranger Green, and it has the black coated uh, blade. I'm not sure what coating this is, but it's held up pretty well. I don't know if it's um, Teflon or, um, or, or what, uh, but it's held up well. Uh, blade for this one actually came very sharp from the factory, which is surprising. Usually Benchmades do not come particularly sharp from the factory, but this one did. Uh, I don't recall what the original um, blade profile was on the edge for the edge bevel, but I use a Wicked Edge to reprofile all my blades after I get them. So now it's a V slash saber grind at the edge uh, at a 25 degrees, and it's quite sharp and it holds an edge pretty well. Um, action is very smooth. The spring is very strong. I really like it. Um, I like that the pocket clip uh, rides relatively deeply um, in the pocket. This is something about more modern Benchmades, which they fixed. A lot of the older ones, they tended to put the pocket clip a little further down. It would kind of stick out, which is rather annoying. Um, it has a lock right here where you can lock this button to prevent the blade from opening or closing, which is cool if you're into that. I'm not. I usually just leave it um, because I don't think it's going to... I haven't had it accidentally come open, and I've been every day carrying it for over a year at this point. Um, so yeah, what makes this one pretty cool, aside from being automatic open, is it's lightweight. Um, but, you know, there's trade-offs for everything, and you get that lightweight largely because this particular knife does not have a full steel liner. Um, most of the Benchmades I have have a full liner, as you can see here, that goes from top to bottom and gives the knife, uh, you know, a lot of stability, uh, a lot of strength, and more weight, significantly more weight. This one does away with that. Um, I don't know if you can see inside, but there's kind of a, a, a liner sleeve that goes about maybe 40% of the way down the grip and then ends and the rest of it is just the side scale. Um, now the, the sleeve is um, inset into the liner, so I'm not really worried about it, but it's just not gonna be quite as robust as the ones that have the full steel liner. But again, you're getting a much lighter knife. It's a little bit more handy uh, for everyday things. So I get where they are coming from by doing it that way. Um, I like the uh, tip profile as well. It retains good thickness down to about here and then it gets actually relatively thinned compared to say the Contigo that I have, which remains pretty thick. And even the 710, um, and the Griptilian stay a little bit thicker. This one actually gets pretty thin at the end. Uh, hasn't posed a problem, but just something to note. Um, something else to note is I bought this knife sight unseen. I did not plan to buy a knife. Uh, I just went to a gun store um, and they had a big counter of knives and I checked this one out and I just loved the shape, um, loved the feel, and I just bought it and it was quite overpriced. It was about $240 when I purchased this. Um, which is outrageous. I mean, when I bought these collector's edition ones uh, before, which are, you know, exclusives, M390 steel, you know, really nice, uh, they were about 180, 190 range, and now we're getting the base model uh, Claymore in basic steel, well, nothing special about it, um, general production knife, uh, for significantly more money. So, 
This is overpriced for what you're getting, but it is nice. I think it's a good everyday carry for my uses um, because I'm a bigger dude. Uh, my hands are bigger. Um, it's kind of basically similar in terms of design um, to my wife's Griptilian in terms of just how it feels in the hand, but it's you know substantially bigger. Um, so yeah, you can even see even the the blade profile is is uh, is similar. So yeah, it's a good knife. Good for everyday carry things, not necessarily as hard to use as other ones because of the um, miniaturized liner um, and also the spacer in the back is not uh, metal either. Also, I wish this one came with a glass breaker. Uh, it doesn't. I wish they at least, you know, had a, there might be an aftermarket spacer you could put in that has a glass breaker put in, but I haven't seen it. Um, locking mechanism is solid, just like the other Benchmades, so no worries there. Um, very little blade play in the locking mechanism when it's locked. Um, one more thing, the blade uh, came okay centered. It's not the best. It's a little bit uh, going to the right, but it's not crazy. I haven't taken this one apart yet to uh, mess with it. My other ones, uh, when I took them apart, I was able to correct the issues with the blade being off center, but I have not taken this one apart. And given that it's an automatic, I'm not really sure how you can mess with the mechanism in there to adjust the um, the centering of the blade in the channel. Uh, but again, not the end of the world, but if you're uh, very picky, which sometimes I am, that could be an issue. Otherwise, I think it's a great little knife. Hasn't It's held up well. I like the design. I just think it's overpriced for what you're getting. All right. Thanks for watching.